Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, man, this is going to be the aftermath of Gennady Golovkin versus Sergei Derevchenko, and dude... I damn near forgot that this friggin' fight was coming on. I forgot that this fight was coming on until friggin' Friday afternoon. And I still didn't even come up with the friggin' final thoughts video on this damn fight because I had so much to do. I was trying to pump out videos and this was almost kind of like a fight that I really didn't even care about. But when I seen this damn fight yesterday on the zone, I was like, damn, dog. They friggin' straight up got friggin' Sergey Derevchenko's ass, dude, and it was actually an exciting fight, it was the type of fight where I thought that Gennady Golovkin was definitely gonna be a little bit too much for a dude like Sergey Derevchenko, and I knew going into the fight that Sergey Derevchenko was a durable dude, was a friggin' in-your-face type of fighter, which would make it an exciting fight, but at the same time, he is a dude that does get hit a lot, and I was like, taking too much punishment from a dude like Gennady Golovkin is not good for your health and I definitely thought that Gennady Golovkin was going to be stopping him within eight rounds but yo I literally thought that Sergey Derevchenko won this damn fight dude after watching the fight twice because after I seen it the first time had to watch it again and dude they freaking got Sergey Derevchenko's ass and going into the first round Dude, it literally went how I thought it was going to go. You had a dude like Gennady Golovkin. They both were pressing the pace on each other. You, ha you had two killers literally willing to face each other in the damn middle of the ring. Going head to head in that damn round. Had some really good exchanges. And there was one exchange where it looked like Gennady Golovkin really tagged Sergey Derevchenko. And Sergey Derevchenko was trying to use his head movement. And when he went to duck down, Triple G came over the top with the right hand on top of the head and was able to get the knockdown on a dude like Sergey Derevchenko. But the one thing that I did like about Sergey Derevchenko, even though he got knocked down, when he got back up, he was still able to keep himself in the fight. You could really see that he wasn't even really hurt from that damn knockdown and he was able to friggin' get through the damn fight. And then going into the second round, you could see Derevchenko really trying to get some get back on a dude like friggin' Gennady Golovkin. He was trying to get that get back, pressing the pace on Gennady Golovkin, and that was literally the telltale going throughout the whole freaking fight is a dude like Sergei Derevchenko, who was literally pressing the pace on friggin' Gennady Golovkin, backing his ass back damn near the entire time. There were times when Gennady Golovkin would try to stand his ground, would try to press the pace on a dude like Sergei Derevchenko. He would catch him with a few shots, but he really could not hurt Sergei Derevchenko in the fashion to where it would keep a dude like Sergei Derevchenko either not firing back or either not pressing the pace on Gennady Golovkin. And the one thing that Sergei Derevchenko was doing very well in this damn fight was popping off that friggin' jab like a damn machine gun and he was getting in some great great body work on a dude like freaking Gennady Golovkin. His body work in this damn fight was outstanding and I'm pretty sure that was probably the game plan, especially with Triple G having the type of chin and having the type of head that he has where you can hit the dude with the brick and he will not go down and Sergey Derevchenko was doing amazing body work in this damn fight and in that seventh round dude Sergey Derevchenko hit Gennady Golovkin with the seven to the body and when he hit him with that damn shot you could clearly tell that Gennady Golovkin was effed up he dropped his hands started running away from Sergey Derevchenko and when Sergey Derevchenko went to put the onslaught on his ass the referee intervened and literally gave Gennady Golovkin time to recover I'm looking at this dude like what the F are you doing and from that moment I knew that Derevchenko was not gonna win this fight dude I was like yo if Sergey Derevchenko does not knock him out 
they are not going to give him the decision and you really got to give Sergey Derevchenko hella credit going into this fight because he was on Gennady Golovkin's ass all the way to the 12th round and after the damn fight when they friggin read off the scorecards especially I think one of the scorecards was like 116 to 111 and I'm looking like okay is it 116 to 111 for Sergey Derevchenko and when they said, and again, the IBF champion, I was like, damn, they friggin' got Sergey Derevchenko's ass in that damn fight. You had the whole crowd in the friggin' arena booing Triple G's ass, and Triple G even knows deep down that he did not win that fight. And the one thing that really friggin' stuck out to me with Triple G being with this new trainer, Jonathan Banks, it really did not look like Triple G got better. He still looked like the same old Triple G. And the one thing that I can say about him going into the future is going up against a dude like Canelo Alvarez again. I can definitely, definitely see Canelo Alvarez possibly getting the stoppage in a trilogy match if they end up fighting again. And all the other killers that are in that damn division Dudes like a Demetrius Andrade, dudes like a Jamal Charlo, I can definitely see Triple G not friggin' wanting the smoke from these dudes, and I can definitely see him trying to cash out with the Canelo fight and being able to fight fringe contenders that are in that damn middleweight division. But I guess only time is gonna tell what Triple G is gonna do, but when it comes into fruition, we will definitely see what will be the fate of of the rest of Triple G's career, all right, you guys? So, I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, all right? So, I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.